tails, tails, and more tails. Can you figure out the topic today? are watching ribbon print tales this is the place to be to learn everything you need to know to use your ribbon printer easily confidently and profitably and today we are going to cover the single most popular topic when people think of custom printed ribbon and that is making tails let's get right to it what we're going to cover are the three types of designs for favor tails sizing in terms of the ribbon lengths proper tying of the bows, and finally, pricing of your favorite tails. When we talk about three different tail design techniques, that's very much an individual preference based on the event that you're doing and, of course, what your client would like to see. The first one is wording on both of the ends only. Here you can see on one side we have a logo, and on the other side we have a message. This is also a very popular technique for weddings. People will put the name of the bride and the groom on one side and then the wedding date on the other. The second technique is wording on both ends, as you saw in the first slide, with images or design in between those two texts. So you can see we have wording on one side, wording on the second side, and then in the middle, in other words, where the bow is tied, you see that there is some design. That's a very cool way of also adding a little pizzazz to your favor ribbons and customizing them even further to an event. And I wanted to point out also on the right hand side, you can see then that that image is extended to the very bottom of the tails too, just to give a little bit of a different design effect. And the final technique is having one image or wording that repeats itself throughout the entire ribbon. Here you can see on the left the Whitehall heart cookie. Here they were doing a Valentine's event. This is a senior care center. They just did the logo repetitively over and over again within the ribbon. And on the right hand side are Christmas favors, which have the individual children's names on them. So Ryan is done just repetitively throughout the ribbon. And then again there you can see Audrey in the same way. How to determine ribbon sizes. The length of the ribbon depends on three factors. The ribbon width, the desired size of your bow loops, and the desired length of the tails. That's really a personal preference. You do want to keep them in balance, of course. You don't want the loops of the bows to be huge and then the tails to be really small, and vice versa. You don't want the bow loops to be really, really tiny, and then they have these major long tails. The easiest way to decide on your length is to take a blank piece of ribbon in the width you'll be printing and make a bow. Then simply untie it and measure its length. Really, really easy. Here are some suggestions for favor tail bow lengths. You can see that, of course, the narrower the ribbon, the shorter the overall ribbon length would be. And this is really, of course, a personal preference based on how big you like the bows, whether you're going to be layering these tails over perhaps additional ribbon material, etc. Moving on, let's talk about how to tie favor ribbons. There's already a YouTube video up that's called, appropriately enough, Tying Printed Ribbon Bows that goes into this in a lot of detail. So the best thing to do is just review this video. And I've got the link right here for you. And also, in terms of pricing favor ribbons, back just several months ago, we did a big video series, three parts, on how to price ribbon. The first one covers setup fees. The second one is determining your cost and what your markup should be. And the third one is actually how to take it to market in terms of how to sell custom printed ribbon. So I'm showing you the visuals of all of these three videos as well as the links. And the best thing, again, to do is go and review all of those because they're very complete and detailed. That's a wrap. I think we've got tails covered. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.